the Indiana Fever doesn't want Skylar Diggins on their team. Well, according to Skylar, they don't. Let's find out why and where Skylar Diggins Smith might go next. What is up, awesome people of the internet? You know the saying, beggars can't be choosers. Well, it seems like Lynn Dunn and the Indiana Fever are doing a little bit of choosing themselves about who they want to actually join their team. The uh, Skylar Diggins Phoenix Mercury saga is now over since uh, Skylar is now a WNBA free agent and is exploring her options with new teams. And she's been having a little bit of fun with it online, engaging with fans on Twitter. Uh, but things got a little bit interesting on January the 4th when Skylar posted saying the plot thickens, which led to a bunch of speculations by WNBA fans. Uh, someone posted, just pack your bags and go on home to Indiana. They need you. To which Skylar actually responded saying they don't think so. Yep, you heard that right. According to Skylar, Indiana is not interested in having her play on their team, which is wild, considering that the 20, 2013 third round pick has averaged 19.7 points throughout her nine year WNBA career. She's a four time WNBA All Star, two time first team member. She became the third player in league history to average 17 points and six assists per game in a season. And she has lots more accomplishments and accolades. Uh, Skylar Diggins is nothing short of a baller, especially at the point guard position. Uh, but even with all of that, she is now leaving her second team on not so good terms. Her first team was the Dallas Wings, um, now uh, the Phoenix Mercury. And in 2023, she also had her second baby and has been on maternity leave since August of 2022. So there is a question about whether whether when she hits the court, if she will be the same Skyler we're used to seeing on the basketball court. Uh, the Indiana Fever, on the other hand, has been a bad team for a very, very long time, basically since Tamika Catchings retired. Uh, this team has been struggling uh, one, they've been struggling to get talent to actually join their team, like top talent in the WNBA. They haven't wanted to join um, the Indiana Fever. Uh, so the Indiana Fever has just been trying to make stuff work with whoever they can possibly get and also sort of building through the draft. Uh, quite a bit of the players on their team uh, have been drafted by Indiana. And so they've just been taking what they can get. So the fact that uh, a player of Skyler's level actually was interested in playing uh, for Indiana is something that we haven't seen again since Tamika Ketching's retired. And you would think that uh, Indiana would be interested to have her play on their team because she, again, I kind of went through some of her stats earlier. She's a very talented player. Um, and, and would be a great um, asset to, to any team. Uh, so the fact that Skyler believes um, that Indiana doesn't want her, it means that for the first time in a long time, Lynn Dunn and the Indiana Fever are being choosy. And the reason why they're being choosy, well, it's because they have the first round, first round pick for the second year in a row. And their sights are on drafting Iowa's Caitlin Clark. And since Caitlin is a point guard, it seems that they are going to make her the starter right away. Um, so they don't need to have Skylar Diggins Smith, uh, who is a bona fide starter wherever she goes. Though they could have both. They could have Skylar Diggins Smith um, as, as the starter for the team, having Caitlin Clark as the first first off the bench, and having Caitlin learn from. Skylar Diggins Smith, uh, but it seems like they're not going to go that route. They're going to go with uh, Caitlin Clark likely starting right off the bat in the WNBA. Um, and because of that, they uh, have no need for Skylar. Now, this could all work out very, very well for Indiana and allowing them to sort of build that young core around Caitlin and Aaliyah Boston. But this decision to pass on Skylar 
could blow up in Indiana's faces, especially if Caitlyn does not declare for the 2024 draft. But as always, we will see what happens from here. My question to you guys is where do you think Skylar will go next? She indicated on X that she loves the East Coast. So which East Coast team do you think she, she's going to possibly go to? I, I think the team that makes more, most sense on the East Coast would probably be the Connecticut Sun due to their point guard situation. Um, but, guys, let's talk about it in the in the chat. Uh, let's talk about where, where you think she's going to go. Also, let me know what you think about Lynn Dunn putting all her chips on Caitlin Clark, who, by the way, still has not actually said if she's entering the 2024 WNBA draft. So we still don't even know. She may, she may not uh, uh, opt to, to go into the draft and she may decide to go in in 2025, which then leaves um, Indiana kind of screwed for another year. But uh, especially, you know, since so they're turning down a player like um, like Skylar Diggins-Smith. But yeah, that is the video, guys. Um, I just wanted to give you all a quick update about what's happening with, uh, with Indiana, what's happening with Skylar Diggins. Um, and we'll see what we'll see what happens from here, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I would like to ask you to hit that like button. Um, and thank you in advance. Um, until next time, guys. Bye.